Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the darkest Hollywood. The night brings a stillness to the jungle. If you, it is so quiet you can hear a name drop. <laughs> the savage beasts are gathering at the water holes for to quench their thirst. Now, one must be increasingly careful and alert. It has been reported that the vicious table hopper is on the prowl. <laughs> and the spotted backstabber <laughs> may lurk behind a potted palm. So now, to take us through this dangerous land, we have hired a native guide. Submitted for your approval, the tale of one Joan Crawford, an aging starlet who is about to have a new kind of fame thrust upon her. A book, a telltale novel chronicling the worst kind of dark family history is about to be published. Though she never got the opportunity to defend herself, now, through modern means, we are able to hear her side of the story. <laughs> the press is now ready. Quiet, please, as the interview is about to begin. Don't listen to my kid. She's a lying little squid. I never had the time for half the things she said I did. I'm highly stressed. Don't mean to sting and hurt. I'm not mad at you. I'm mad at the dirt. I said Christina. I like my home Christina. I can't bring my guest in when it smells like a latrina. <coughs> so pardon me, please, if I sound a little curt. I'm not mad at you. I'm mad at the dirt. I'm not surprised. Why? It's Mildred Pierce. For this Oscar I've waited so many years. It's my kingdom, my mansion, my expansion, where I can shout the door and yell, Screw you, Norma Shearer. <laughs> Give me some slack. Get off my back. I worked hard to prove I'm no two-bit hack. So listen, my marble floors must glisten. So I'm on my knees scrubbing. Think of what I'm missing. I'm not jealous, so don't mess with me, fellas. Who will tame this buildup when it's waxy and yellow? <laughs> Betty Davis kicked me in the head. Yes, she left me for dead. But I got even when she picked me up from the bed. But even she would turn around and blurt, Joan, I'm not mad at you. I'm mad at the dirt. Wire hangers bring out my anger. With bad memories of laundries, sinks and manglers, but my therapist said, you need to exert. You're not mad at her, you're mad at the dirt. So, listen now and listen well. Hedda Hopper, Luella Parsons, you can both go to hell. I did straitjacket and I did trog. And now I sit in my penthouse with my Pekingese dogs. <laughs> I'm proud and tall. I was Billy Casson. My home is not a flop house for you to pass your gas in. <laughs> so heed my warning, my cleanliness alert. I'm not mad at you, I'm mad at the dirt. And she's just a soul whose intentions were good. Oh no, please don't let her be misunderstood. <laughs> This now concludes our radio interview. And now you know her side of the story. 